can't quite believe I'm saying this, but I'm gonna quit caffeine. Over the next seven days, I'm going to try and survive on no caffeine whatsoever and see if I can do it, see if I can actually survive it. I have a headache. Exhausted. Mm. Nothing more than a coffee. I have one. I am heavily, heavily addicted to caffeine. I'm so reliant on caffeine. I'm gonna go caffeine free. Nope for seven days and I quite literally could cry <laughs> at the thought of that. I mean water is about to become my best friend isn't it? Some of the benefits of no caffeine are increased energy levels, improved mood, less headache and achy muscles, lower risk of heartburn, better sleep, decreased anxiety. It sounds incredible. Last night I literally could not fall asleep. I literally got into bed at half half past nine i didn't fall asleep until midnight i don't know why that is but i did have a coffee quite late in the afternoon and it was a very big coffee and i have a feeling that's what that's what ruined me so today's day one it's 5 a.m right now i was kind of relying on having a massive breakfast this morning but we also have no food I would usually have caffeine around now and I'm struggling. I just don't feel like awake. I usually feel with it by now. I'm like right ready to go, ready for the day ahead. And right now I feel dead inside. <laughs> So overall, day one was very, very rough. I was exhausted, I hated it. I couldn't find energy from anywhere and I had a headache the whole entire time. So yeah, day one was not the best. So day two, obviously I had two decaf coffees and I know there's probably caffeine in them, but let a girl live. Day two was horrible as well. I was ravenous the whole entire day. It was awful. I was so tired. I just wanted that caffeine kick. So it's day three. I did have two decaf coffees yesterday, but they literally, I mean, there can't have been any caffeine in it. I know there's always a little bit of caffeine in decaf coffee, but let let me have my coffee i'm feeling a bit better this morning i don't why did i boil the kettle why did i do it at like 2 p.m i always have a slump it is like so freaking annoying it's at my 4 p.m slump but because i wake up so early it's my 2 p.m slump and it's literally where i'm just like how am i meant to get through the day and then another thing I'm noticing is that I literally just don't feel awake until like after that 2 p.m. slump. I feel a bit more awake today, but that's because I've gotten up and had to film some stuff. But apart from that, like I just don't I don't feel awake. I've made some hot ribena. Because as you can probably still tell, still got cold. I'm really excited for it to be over. Can't lie. Another thing I forgot to mention is I'm really hungry. Coffee and caffeine is obviously a um, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Something suppressor, hunger suppressor, appetite suppressor. Coffee is obviously an appetite suppressor. So I'm finding that I'm hungry, babes. I'm freaking hungry, but I'm proud of myself. I don't know if I've ever gone three days without caffeine. I've only been drinking coffee since I was 18. So it's not like I'm a long-term addict. I remember I had it on holiday. I had one then since then. I've had one, two, three a day. And then I got onto Monsters. And it all just kind of trickled from there, babes. Day three was pretty all right, to be fair. I mean, I was ravenous all day. It wasn't that bad. I was busy throughout the whole day. I kind of just got on with it. I was tired, but I kind of just got on with it. So day three was pretty okay, actually. It's freaking seven minutes past five. I'm really, really feeling it today. Today really is a new level of exhaustion. Like, today I'm feeling it. I want nothing more than a coffee. 
nothing more than a coffee. Day four, we dropped a little bit. Throughout the whole day, I was just hanging. I was just struggling. I was struggling with my clients. I had no mental strength. I was just freaking exhausted. It's day five, and it's also Saturday today. So on the weekends, I always make myself a huge coffee. And I can't lie, I'm actually sad. I'm actually sad. I just miss it so much. I literally, I woke up and was like, oh, I need a coffee. And then I was like, I didn't get a coffee. It's hard being me. Half the reason why I did this whole challenge was to help my sleep because I'm not sleeping very well at the minute. Last night, my sleep was not very good. I'm like, I've not had any caffeine, not slept any better than usual. So like, what's even the point? Literally, what's the point? I know there's probably some sort of caffeine in this, but I just want the taste. I just really need the taste right now. Mm, it tastes so freaking good. Day five again wasn't that bad, although we did go see Oppenheimer and I literally could not stay awake at some parts. Like, I was falling asleep throughout some of the movie. I was really, really hungry again. That is like the biggest thing. I've just been ravenous. And I also was really, really tired apparently because I kept like dropping off in the film. The challenge is over. And I thought I'd do some final thoughts. Oh, maybe I should come a little bit closer. So nothing really happened on day six or day seven. I had a coffee yesterday and I was so anxious all day. I couldn't fall asleep. Oh my days. It was awful. Yes, it was awful. I was so excited. I had my regular schmegular coffee. I was like, oh yeah, about to get that caffeine kick. Not gonna have a headache. And then I had it and I got the shake. So I was anxious. I couldn't fall asleep. It was so bad. I have made a decaf coffee today. Um, I don't think this has changed me. I think I need to have smaller coffee. These last seven days were really, really good because I learned a lot and maybe I'm not as reliant on coffee as I first thought. I definitely recommend if you are addicted to coffee, maybe just take a little seven day cleanse because it has changed a lot for me. I don't need a huge coffee anymore, clearly, unless I want to have a panic attack for eight hours straight. So thank you so much for watching. It was a very like, interesting experiment. I'm intrigued to see if my headaches go away if I just continue going decaf. I didn't find any health benefits. The whole like improved mood thing, that wasn't there. Boosted energy, that wasn't there. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, I post every single Tuesday and I'll see you next week. Love you so, so much. Kisses and hugs. Bye, bye.